Hey everybody, welcome back. And this is the last exercise in chapter two. It's going to be called chessboard. Uh, quick disclaimer, this is the most difficult problem that you in this uh, complete novice beginner you know, series of videos will have attempted. Uh, it is not immediately obvious how this would be done, so please feel free to check out the hints and also understand that um, when you watch someone do it, when they already know how to do it, it's much different than when you do it for the first time yourself. So give yourself time, try it a bunch of different ways, fail a couple of ways, and you'll be okay. So they want us to write a program that creates a string that represents an eight by eight grid using new line characters to separate lines. At each position of the grid, there is either a space or a hashtag character. The characters should form a chessboard. Passing the string to the console.log should show something like this. And uh, there it is. So we got empty space, uh, hashtag, empty space, hashtag, empty space, hashtag, empty space, hashtag. So um, if we look at this generally, it's essentially eight different lines of strings of characters, or was strings with eight characters in them. Now the characters kind of alternate in a way that you're going to find out if you try this a bunch of different ways makes it really awkward to perform a question like this. Uh, so we're going to start with this. We want to be able to create the uh, columns and the rows, which is to say uh, these are the rows and these are the columns. So let's go ahead and check out uh, some pseudocode that we could describe this with. The first thing would be uh, create a size variable. Now they want us to start by creating an 8x8 eight eight and then extending it. Uh, I'm just going to start by creating a size variable and setting it equal to 8. Set it equal to 8. Uh, the next thing I'm going to want to do, and this is going to be the case where the pseudocode that we write is going to adapt as we go through this problem, mainly because the first set of pseudocode we write is not going to be uh, complete. What I mean by that is we'll want to loop to create the rows, and then loop to create the columns. The way we're going to do this is we're going to do two while loops that are both going to be relatively similar in structure. Um, and the last thing, of course, we're going to do is log a string uh, to the console, and we should say something like uh, result to the console. If we have a result at the end, we'll need one at the beginning, so we'll create an empty string result. And I'm going to leave it as an empty string just because I don't want to worry about what I have to do to it until I start to get into my while loops. And the idea is that I'm going to do while in row one, add eight characters to the string, while in row two, add eight characters to the string. And these characters also represent columns. So for the first row, create the first column, second column, third column, fourth, fifth to eighth. For the second row, do the same. Okay, so the first thing that I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to create it all with asterisks. And the reason would be if I can get a, a 64, you know, an 8 by 8 set of asterisks out there, it might be a little bit easier for me to figure out how to make those, you know, this alternating chessboard pattern. Uh, so loop to create the rows, we'll say variable, eh, let's go with let. So uh, let size equal 8, create an empty string, so we'll say let result equal an empty string. Loop to create the rows, we need two things. The first is going to be let row equal 1. And the second is going to be while row is less than or equal to 8. Now this is going to create a loop which is going to allow us to count from 1 to 8. Which is nice. Now we're going to do the same thing but for columns. So we'll say let column equal 1 and we'll say while... Now, I'm going to try to keep all of this in the same screen but you can imagine it's a little bit tricky to balance seeing all of the code versus seeing what I'm actually typing. Uh, all of this code will be on the gist that's going to be the copy of the replit you know, notes that we're taking as we went through this chapter. Uh, that link will be in the description of this video. So while column is less than or equal to 8, and we've already made one kind of a, uh, it's not a mistake so much, but we want this to be size, right? We want it to be while it's less than the size. We've set size equal to 8, and that's kind of jumping from the first part of this problem to the last, but uh, we are coding ninjas, so we'll go ahead and just do that. Good. While row is this, like that. A loop to create the columns. Now we got a couple things that we really want to make sure that we do. First is in this row while loop, which is this one here, we need to make sure that the row uh, is incremented each time. So we'll say row plus equals one, and down here we're going to say column uh, plus equals one. Now this is going to ensure that uh, as we're moving through, we don't end up accidentally 
uh, creating an infinite loop. Now, the fun part about this is that I think when you create an infinite loop here, it actually asks you, like, hey, this has been running for a while, do you want it to keep running? And if you cancel it, it says it was aborted or canceled or something. So let's return back. Uh, while row is less than or equal to size, and that's going to loop for our rows, and then while a column is less than or equal to size, we're going to loop over the columns. And I think what I want to do is I want to uh, add um, and we'll say add, well, what should we do? We'll add an asterisk. Add an asterisk uh, to our result. Now what that's going to do is it's going to add eight asterisks. And when we get to here, once this while loop has completed, that's essentially when we've gotten to the end of our first line. Now it's not going to be uh, empty spaces and, and hashtags, it's going to be just all asterisks. But when it gets to the end of it, we'll want a new line symbol. So we'll say something like, uh, add a new line symbol to end a current row. And that's going to be, uh, what will it be? Result plus equals a new line. And add an asterisk to our result is going to be result plus equals an asterisk. So we're adding an asterisk each time, we're incrementing the column, so it'll iterate over the columns, then at the end of each row, it's going to add the new line symbol and then increment the row, and it'll keep moving down. Here on line 23, we're going to console.log our result. And we probably did something wrong, but that's okay. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit run, and just see what happens. So we've got eight uh, asterisks in a row, and eight going down. So we have essentially created uh, a bad chessboard. We've created a chessboard that they forgot to color in half of the, uh, you know, the, the, the squares as a different color. So let, let's think about this real quick. Um, and this is the part where it's like, oh my God, how did you go from that to that? Well, it's like, you don't see like the hour I spent messing with this before I started creating the video where I figured out that this is what we ought to do. Um, came up with a bunch of different if, else, if, then kind of situations that all didn't really work. What I finally came down with is that if I have row and column listed as going from 1 to 8 and 1 to 8, let's think about this. At column 1, row 1, I have nothing. And I'm going to create a set of notes about this. So we're going to go 1, 1 is an empty space. 1, 2 is a hashtag. 1, 3 is an empty space. 1, 4 is a hashtag. And so on. So let's let's check uh, let's check the the fourth row. So if we keep going, we'll say four one. That's going to be uh, one two three four four one, which is our first one right here. That's going to be an asterisk. Sorry, uh, a a you know an octothorpe if you're following these videos. And then four two is going to be an empty space. So let's take a look at the column in the row and the resulting uh, you know part of the string and see if we can't figure out a pattern. So one one empty. 1, 2, not empty, 1, 3, empty, 1, 4, not empty, 4, 1, not empty, 4, 2, empty. So I would proffer that what this suggests is if the row plus the column number is even, then we're going to have an empty space. If it's odd, then we're going to have an asterisk. Sorry, I should not have done the asterisk. That might make this super confusing. Uh, the problem is, is that I think Octothorpe when I first see this, which doesn't really matter to you, but it does mean that the descriptions out loud are kind of not as good as they could be. But this is for free and for non-commercial purposes, so it doesn't hurt for it to be a little bit bad. Anyway, let's go ahead and scroll down here and uh, add in the logic that we just described to our while loop. So what we're doing here is we're adding uh, an asterisk to our result regardless of what's going on. So instead of that, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that and we'll say if column plus size is even, we said that we want to add an empty space. And there really is no, you know, else if condition, right? If it's not even, it's going to be odd. And if it's odd, we add an octothorpe. That's how you spell that, by the way, but that's our hashtag. And then we increment the column and then the result in the row. Okay, so I would say the only difference between our chessboard like this and our chessboard like this is the logic we just described about uh, if column plus size is even, then we'll add an empty space, and if it's not, we'll add an, uh, our hashtag. So if, and what I'm about to do is not necessary, but it is one 
uh, that can be mildly useful. All I'm doing here is just wrapping uh, my pseudocode and code together so that when the code is eventually in there, each line of pseudocode corresponds to the line of code just below it. Uh, you don't have to do that, but especially if you're beginning out or just starting out, it might be a decent idea. Uh, so if, and we want column plus row, column plus size is even, that's not even close, column plus row is even, so column plus row, we're going to wrap that in parentheses just so it doesn't get confused about what we want to compare. If column plus row, the quantity, modulo 2 is equal to 0, then we know column plus row gives us an even number. If that's the case, we want to add to result an empty space. Otherwise, we want to add our hashtag. And hashtag, there we go. So, now that we've done that, I think that should sort everything out. We have a situation where the column and row adding up together gives us this nice little, you know, it's not a hack so much, but it, it just it, it allows us to not work in a ton of logic about what was the last character and alternating between rows and lines and um, all that fun stuff, which I highly suggest that you try to do. The only reason is there, there are certain parts of learning programming that involve your banging your head against the computer as you fail repeatedly. Now, a lot of people might not like that, and that might be... Uh, an indication that perhaps a different career would be the be a better situation for you. But I would say that most careers involve a person banging their head against something for at least a little while until they get their feet underneath them. And at least in this case, nobody really has to see you fail because it's just you and your computer. So now that we've got the code written the way that we think it ought to be written, let's go ahead and run it by hitting Command Enter. And we see that we have a nice chessboard that comes out here. Uh, one thing that we could do to make sure that our chessboard is correct, which I actually broke a solution, I, well, a bad solution that I had earlier, was if we change this to uh, a different number and we go ahead and run it again, we see that the chessboard still holds. The trickiest version would, of course, be if it is like five, because sometimes you would have a solution that counts on even or odd numbers or even or odd rows, but if we have five, we're going to have a little bit of a different situation. Uh, this is sufficient for our purposes. So... I think that is going to be it. Uh, they don't really tell us anything that we should do if it has like one or zero or any edge cases. So for now, this is going to be perfectly sufficient. I'm going to go ahead and copy the code that I've written here and paste it into my replit over here. And this one is a uh, chessboard. And there's the code for that. So that'll all be copied and put in the description of this, uh, located inside of a gist. It'll have all of the keywords and notes from chapter two, as well as the solutions to each one of the exercises. Uh, there's also hints here if you want to go in between checking out the solution versus checking out uh, just trying to do it completely on your own. In any case, I do hope you've been enjoying this read through. Probably going to take a break from Eloquent JavaScript just for a little while and start working on some other things. But uh, in the event that we do uh, restart the Eloquent JavaScript read through, it'll begin with chapter three and go on from there. With that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this read-through of Eloquent JavaScript Chapter 2, and we'll see you in the next one.